Yes, you can still be an animator even if you can't afford to pay the exorbitant prices for software. I get this question all the time. What are the best free animation apps? The answer is Blender. Thanks for watching. Love ya. Bye. I'm kidding. Don't click off yet. Well, I mean, kind of kidding. I mean, Blender is definitely the best 3D animation app that you can get. Uh, just a note, I'm busy editing this video and I realized I said that Blender was the best 3D animation software. I meant the best free 3D animation software. There's a reason that companies like Microsoft, Adobe, Google, Facebook, I mean, <coughs> Meta, have joined the development fund. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't even do a proper intro. I mean, that's disgusting. Well, here it is. Shit stuff out there. Software is crazy expensive. But luckily for us, there's some benevolent individuals out there who've developed some really off the chain 3D software for us to use. Free. Totally mahala. It's none of that free trial bullshit. I'm not going to do you guys like that. This stuff is absolutely free. No strings attached. So here are some of the best 2D and 3D animation apps that you guys can use. Let me know in the comments if I left some out. I mean, I am not omniscient. I don't know everything. So if there are some that you think deserve some credit or deserve to be in this list, totally let me know. So let's go back to Blender. I use Blender a lot. And you might think that it's only for 3D animation, but oh no, no, my sweet child. With Grease Pencil, you can do 2D animation too. It takes up very little space on your computer and you can literally run it off of a flash drive. You can do the entirety of the 3D pipeline with Blender. You can model and sculpt, texture, rig, do lighting, animate, simulations like smoke, clouds, hair, cloth, particles, visual effects, emotion graphics, video editing, rendering, and of course there's Grease Pencil for 2D animation. If you're looking for a program to do 2D animation in, Grease Pencil does have a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're used to the more traditional 2D apps. It is quite different to what you'd be used to if you've used, say, Toon Boo Harmony or Moho or even one of the free apps that I'm gonna talk about later. But once you get the hang of it, it's great. You can have onion skinning, rig the layers, bring in audio to sync to. It's really dope. You can do frame by frame animation or rig the 2D layers for puppet animation. And it's really cool to be able to work in a fully 3D space with 2D layers. Once you get used to it, you're never gonna wanna go back. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Linux? I've heard it pronounced both ways. I'm gonna say Linux, cause that's what I'm comfortable with. And the system requirements are a minimum of four gigs RAM and a graphics card with one gig RAM and OpenGL 3.3 and a 64-bit dual-core 2 gigahertz CPU. But the recommended system requirements are a 64-bit quad-core CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and a graphics card with 4 gigs of RAM. And I'm sorry, but no other free 3D app can do what Blender can do. And quite frankly, I wouldn't actually recommend any others that are out there. So let's look at some 2D apps now. OpenTunes is probably one of the most well-known and for good reason. It's based on the software Toons, which was developed by Digital Video in Italy, and it was customized by Studio Ghibli, who use it themselves. It can be used on both Windows and Mac. System requirements are 4 gigs or more of RAM, an Intel Core i-series processor, and 500 megs or more of available storage space. In OpenTunes, you can import audio as a WAV or AIFF file, so you can do your lip syncing and timing to your audio, and you can use both raster and vector graphics. If you don't know the difference between the two, rasterized graphics are made up of pixels, and obviously there will be a fixed number of pixels making up your image, which is fine if it's for something you're not gonna be scaling up, but as soon as you do start scaling up the image, the quality will drop because the pixels just become bigger. You don't get more pixels. It's always the same amount. But vector images are not made up of pixels. They are made up of paths that use vectors, which are mathematical formulas. So because it's a formula, it can be scaled up and down and manipulated in certain ways without losing that quality because it's not a set number of pixels like raster graphics are. There are commands which calculate the number of points in the image, which will change as the image or path changes. So the image will stay nice and crisp. They both have their place and it's nice to have the choice between them in an animation program. In OpenTunes, you can import PSD files, although I have had some issues with crashing and errors sometimes when I imported PSDs. You can also import JPEGs or PNGs and there's the mesh tool where you can bring in an image and then rig it with a skeleton, which you can then animate. And of course you can do frame by frame animation too. You can also scan in and clean up images. It has GTS, which is a scanning tool developed by Studio Ghibli, and there are a bunch of different cleanup settings you can use, which is super useful. It also has a lot of effects and compositing tools and bones for rigging. It's got frame by frame and motion tweening tools, IK support and motion tracking. It's got a strong node-based editor. There's a lot you can do. 
There are obviously other things you can do in it, but for me these are the most important when looking for a 2D animation app, so there you go. Another nice 2D app is Synfig Studio, which is also compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. System requirements are Windows 7 or above, and for Mac, OS X 10.8 or above. And for Linux, it's Linux Distro released in 2012 or later. You'll need a dual core CPU at 2 GHz or more, and at least 2 gigs of RAM. Some cool features of Synfig are the onion skinning and its ability to choose between keyframes and frames, which is in the new update. Vector tweening, so you can just set the key positions of your animation and it'll calculate the in-betweens for you. There are tons of different layer types and filters you can use. They have a bone system for rigging and a skeleton distortion layer for more complex deformations of your artwork. You can also import audio for your syncing and you can import mp3s, which I couldn't do with OpenTunes. It had to be a WAV file. so. I like that I can just use an mp3 without having to convert it to another file format in another program. You can use both vector and raster graphics in Synfig, but you can't import PSDs or AI files. It has to be a JPEG or a PNG. You're supposed to be able to import SVGs, but I did have problems with that, and apparently the workaround is to download Inkscape and export it as an SIF file. There's also Krita. Krita? Krita? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced Krita and Krita, but I prefer Krita, so that's how I'ma say it. It's typically a digital art or drawing app, but it does have a built-in timeline for frame-by-frame -frame animation, and what's cool is that you have all the nice brushes and stuff, so you can make really pretty animations. You can also bring in raster or vector graphics too, and keyframe them for simple animations. It's got onion skinning, it's got the animation curve stocker, so you can adjust your animation curves, and you can import audio, so it's pretty good for animation, even though that's not its primary focus. You can't, however, use bone or skeleton systems. It's more of a traditional frame-by-frame -frame approach. There are other apps, like I'll give an honorable mention to Pencil 2D because some people like how simplistic it is. It's another one that's more for the traditional approach with frame-by-frame -frame animation. And if you're a total beginner, this might be good for you because it is pretty simple compared to the others. But personally, I think the other three, OpenTune, Synfig, and Krita are better if you want to seriously get into animation. Pencil 2D is a lot more simple. So if you do need something that's less intimidating, if you just want to do frame by frame, then Pencil 2D may be the one for you. So that's just an overview of some of the apps you guys can check out if you're looking for free, legitimate software to get into animation. Because we're not about that pirate life, right guys? Right guys? Right guys? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was useful to you. As always, thank you to my patrons. The encouragement and support means the world to me. Let me know in the comments if you think that I missed out on an app that should have been on this list or maybe if one of these apps should not be on this list. I'd be really curious to know if any of you know of a free 3D app that could actually compete with Blender and not Daz 3D because I know about it. And there's a reason I didn't put it on this list because this is about apps that I actually recommend. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Give that like button a little tap tap. And thanks for watching guys. Love ya. Bye.